Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Dino Stalker. This is the fourth and final episode. Last time we took a shortcut through, I guess, a random abandoned city that had been transported to hyperspace, and it was full of raptors and oviraptors, and then we fought the Carnosaur Brothers before getting chased out of the city by a pitch black Tyrannosaurus. And now we are presumably driving to meet up with Dylan. <laughs> So that he can give us more exposition than he can give over the radio? <sighs> that was close, but I think we lost him. Oh! No brakes! <laughs> I'm pretty sure we had brakes because she stopped in the first episode, or the last episode. Follow! <sighs> Well, shit. Now I guess we're gonna have to walk. Papa. Oh, hey, look, we're here. It's a very familiar shape from Dino Crisis 2. Huh? Trinity's definitely bigger up close. Just won't give up, will you? So yes, this is a boss episode, because we gotta fight Trinity. This dinosaur that was created from a Troodon by the mother computer. Yeah, let's grab that before I shoot it. It does have a good dramatic boss theme, though. Oh, I almost shot that power up. And of course, Trinity can command the other dinosaurs. Uh, the flamethrower is kind of shit, though. <laughs> Use the flame grenades instead. You know, these raptors, these bigger raptors with the exaggerated claws, they look like the concept art for the Therizinosaurus from the first game, which looked nothing like what they actually look like in-game. Trinity is, of course, a fair bit tougher than the Carnosaur bosses. I'm hoping one of them might drop some health. So we have not been doing good on health. Did that other one despawn? I was trying not to pick it up until I had used up the other ammo. Oh. Not quite done yet. Alright, Trinity. The mother computer also made Trinity very acrobatic. For dinosaur protection. I wonder if we can use Snipe Shot here. Like, we haven't really had any use for it for the entire game. Snipe shot. Oh, that works pretty well. Lure right off the top. Nope. Not a particularly difficult boss. I'm 
pretty sure that's why there's such a delay there, is you're actually supposed to use Snipe Shot to get some good damage in. Oh, there was bullets there for like a second. Oh, I think I think I triggered that prematurely by shooting it. All right, got a little bit of health. Oh shit! You also can't switch very quickly. That's enough out of you. Arg, I am defeated. Let me dramatically die in front of you. So that's the end of Trinity. Not a particularly important dinosaur in the story. It was just there. Welcome. Kind of my wire. Papa! What's this? Some kind of movie? You're not here? I'm in the future. Three million years ahead of your time. I mean, Mike doesn't even know what a computer is. I'm making contact with the hyperspace you are in. How convenient for you. You get to sit back and watch while we fight for our lives. This is not what you think it is. When the mother computer went out of control, I was left alone in this world. So what do you want me to do? So I'm assuming that this is a catastrophe or something. Post Dino Crisis 2, Dylan. There's a volcano close by. I want you to go down inside its crater. There you will find the mother computer. Debug and reconstruct the program, returning this timeless Union Island back to the Cretaceous period 65 million years ago, where it belongs. There is only a few minutes left for us. Got it. I kidnapped you from the past to troubleshoot my computer. Why did you choose me? Intensive resistance from the mother computer can be expected. There was no way Paula would be able to carry out her mission alone. So I calculated and reached the conclusion that I could bring someone from the year 1943 to this porch, utilizing a time slip. And you were gonna die anyway. There are lots of people living in 1943, you know? In this mission, extreme intelligence and bravery are required. Also, most important of all, the person has to be on the brink of his final hour when he is transported here. Final hour? I couldn't force someone who still had a long life ahead of him to come here. I couldn't guarantee that he would make it back. Like, did he already forget about the plane? You mean, it's me. Because whether I die in 1943, or I die here, it doesn't make any difference. If this ground is not returned to its proper time within the next few minutes, the Earth will be destroyed by the contortion of the dimensions. I am counting on you. In my ward. So we have to save all the times, not just the current one. Again, very a sound of thunder. We have to fix time. Because the effect in one time is affecting all times. I'm going to die, no matter what. Mike! Mike! There is also still the weird thing that, <laughs> just thinking about it, that Dylan right now is only a couple years older than Paula because of the time difference. So yeah, very short level, and the next level, not much longer, which is why I wanted to do them together, even though it made the last episode fairly short. Alright, we got an A rank. Could have avoided some of that damage. I was <laughs> trying to find a reason to use the snipe shot, because really I didn't need to.
I just wanted to make it useful. Actually, no, I don't want to save over that, because I need a save for this level to obtain the cutscenes. Alright, determination. Just walk into that volcano and bang on the computer until it works. This land will stay in this hyperspace. Then I could stay alive. And I could live with Paula in this world. No, I'm still a soldier. I will do my best to save my people, my world. Huh? That's about as much alternative thoughts as he has about this whole plan. Let's go. There isn't much time. I have to wonder, is like, was ducking just not a thing when they made this game for the audio? And that's why the music overpowers it? Dino Crisis 2 did teach us that Tyrannosaurs are very determined to catch their prey. So it followed us. Come on, Come on. I'm sending your prehistoric butt back where it belongs. In this world, dinosaurs are Ma, go! No, no, Mike. In this world, dinosaurs aren't extinct because this is not a real place. So yes, the final boss is the pitch black Tyrannosaurus. Kind of a step back from the uh, Giga. But hey, we are fighting it in a volcano, so that's kind of dramatic. Plus, despite its size, the Giga didn't really get much of a, a final send-off. You can see that there's blue time crystals all over the place. well as plenty of special weapons. Also a lot easier to avoid its bites when we are on foot than when we are in the jeep. Alright, the missile pod, which I think you can only get in this area. It's pretty much just the, uh, what is it, the M202 Flash, again, from Resident Evil. Really does a huge chunk of damage. And is homing, so you can't even really miss with it. Get those sweet time bonuses. Oh, that would have been a dramatic finish if I hadn't gotten attacked instead. What inconvenient timing. The volcano is slightly erupting. Just a little bit of magma. It's also like the only in-engine cutscene. Instead of an FMV, and round two. Now it's more dramatic. And also, I don't have a special weapon now. Uh oh. Oh, come on. How did you bite me from that far back? Hello. What? 
Oh no, I'm being chewed. Forgot about that. I'm not really paying attention to where I'm going, so I might get trapped in a hole. I'm not seeing any special weapons we can go for. There's a rock over there. Uh oh, speaking of rocks. Though, even though he's just wearing a t-shirt, Mike can survive being chewed on by the T-Rex. Oh, hello. Good friend of mine. How are you going? You were so aggressive before. Oh, even better friend. Sorry, Missile Launcher, you've been cancelled because I have a better friend. I think uh, it's about time for an... You're extinct. Hey, that actually worked. <laughs> I was expecting him to survive with a tiny bit of health. turned out to still be a more dramatic final boss fight than in Dino Crisis 2. Yes! I did it at last! Bala! Yes, I am finally done. I have to fit all those lines into this small bit of mouth movement. <laughs> Bala. I want you to come back to 1943 with me, so we can die together. Give up. There's nothing you can do now. Paula? Paula, do you think that worked? Much like with Dino Crisis 2, she can't really handle multi-part sentences, but she can handle it? computers. Very well. I guess all you have to do now is press that key and everything will return to normal. This land will be sent back to the Cretaceous period. And I'll be sent back to 1943, where I'll be shot to death. He's very casual about this. Mike! There's no time. Do it, Paula. It has to be this way. Do it! In the end, it has to be this way. Bola. Who is the judge, the right from wrong, Paula? Not you. Why didn't he do it? You know, that really doesn't look fixed. I love you. I love you. I mean, we just met, and we were only around for, like, a couple hours, maybe, but I've never met anyone who couldn't speak full sentences the way you do. So yeah, they kind of tried to cram a little too much into what they want to do with these characters. D rank. I wonder if it's just because I got hit, or because I took too long. Or because I didn't collect all the time and get the sweet time bonus. Alright, time to die. Back to our mysterious battle of the P-51 Mustang over the Atlantic. Who are they fighting? Presumably the Luftwaffe, because you can see the logo on that plane in, like, one shot. She's editing out the bullets! I feel like you could do a lot of useful things with that power. Would have been great if he just got clipped by the wing, though, instead. Paula, you saved me, didn't you? 
Now I get to live out my life and no one will believe what happened to me. And hey, she can just use this creepy machine to watch him at all times. Are you alright? You look as if you were staring off in another world. I was thinking about a woman. That's good. Shucks, aren't we all? That's the best way to cheer you up, you know? I mean, sure, you got shot down, and now you're gonna be out of the war for a couple months, but good woman will make you forget all about that. And then he goes around trying to get, like, various ladies with blonde hair to wear leather. Which is totally not in vogue, but... Also, what is this theme? Oh, boy. The, uh, cursor does not work for this part. It really just wants to go to the left. So I guess I'm not going to be shooting the logos. But seriously, why is this ending theme so, like, kind of traditional Irish sounding? Oh. Uh, this key makes me go over. Yeah, it's not exactly the credits for the original Smash Brothers, is it? Also, this track's kind of terrible. Like, there's some decent boss themes in there, and they had that weird thing where they just reused some of the background music from Dino Crisis 2 during the cutscenes, but not in-game. But yeah, that was uh, Dino Stalker. It was a game I remember from my childhood, but didn't remember great, just random parts of it. I remember the Jeep, and I remember the Trinity boss fight, the water level, you know, bits here and there, but not actually what it was about. And Dylan really served no purpose there aside from exposition. Like, it didn't, it didn't add anything to the Dino Crisis 2 story. It was just like, hey, remember these two? They still exist. I guess Dylan was rescued in the future along with Paula, so now they're just doing time fixes all by themselves. I think that Paula was just lonely since she literally has no other people around except her dad. So she'd just fall for any guy that showed up. Also, these are very slow credits. Probably why they let you shoot them, because they're like, uh. You need something to keep you busy while these- Oh, god, that one's really bad. You need something to keep you busy while they go by. Can't have too many of those sprites on screen, though, or they'll just melt down the game. Still, I'm glad I got to share this game. I feel like most people aren't even aware it exists or is part of the Dino Crisis series even though it, again, has no real bearing on the series. And since people have already asked me, and people are probably going to ask me again on this, I can't really do Dino Crisis 3 right now, since it is an Xbox exclusive to this day, and Xbox emulation has still not really reached a playable state. Like right now, you can't even get past the main menu in Dino Crisis 3 before it locks up. But eventually, you know, that stuff started progressing a lot more in the last year or two. So maybe we will actually see that game by next month or so of Dino, perhaps? Hopefully. I would like to LP it if I can someday. I do have a physical copy of it, and I still have an old Xbox, though I don't think I have any of the cables for it. But I don't have a capture setup or anything, so that's equally problematic. Alright, I think we're coming up on the end here. I also would like to do, I've mentioned it before, but uh, 
the gun survivor game that came after this, Resident Evil Dead Aim, which I did do a first impressions on previously. I would like to do a full playthrough of that. I mean, it is on my Resident Evil list of all the Resident Evil games that I have to have LPs of on my channel, but I'd like to do it soon, I think. Especially now that I've got it set up a bit better than when I did the first impressions. I am curious to see what Capcom is going to put out next, like, in the near future, because, you know, they, they had their little golden period, and then Resident Evil 3 Remake came out, and it was just kind of, eh. You know, it wasn't up to the same standard level as Resident Evil 2 Remake, or Devil May Cry 5, or, you know, Monster Hunter World, all the other good stuff they've been putting out recently. So we'll see how their next stuff does. You know, Resident Evil 8 is coming next year. <sighs> Do I get to pick one of these? Is it just showing me them all? I don't know what those two at the end are that I can't select. Maybe those are unlockable ones. Alright, well, thank you all for joining me for Dino Stalker. It was a good little game to revisit. Very short, you know, took me maybe a week to get all these episodes done. It is a bit of a pain in the ass to edit, because I have to reinsert all the cutscenes and everything. I don't know why this is being so janky now. Or why I'm even bothering to do this, since <laughs> it's not like I'm going to use this again. just want to see if anything pops up at the end. Sha! Not beat by that fucker Gale and Dr. Kirk, but at the top is Mike Wired himself. Alright, so again, thank you for joining me, and uh, hopefully I'll see you again for future LPs where we'll be shooting things other than just dinosaurs, especially in the near future. Take care, everyone.